Shalom, Kohanoyam, Wahawa, La Yahawa, Bahasim Yahawasa, Bahasim, Rakahakwadash. Double honors are going out to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, along with the elder bishops who rule well. Salutations, peace and blessings, grace and safety goes out to the Bayafta Wada that is the house of David the elect, beginning with his servants, the prophets, the men of the Lord, who were standing boldly on the four corners of the earth singing his new song, preaching and teaching the correct doctrine, waking up the lost sheep at the house of Yasharala. I'm Smar Moth, back with another Prophecy Speaking. Prophecy is short. And uh, basically, you know, today is uh, Sunday, September 18, 2022, the year of the turn up. Okay. Um, and this article was published uh, two days ago. All right. Off of TravelNoir.com, Illinois becomes the first state to pass the quote, the purge, end quote, law. And many of you brothers and sisters paying attention, listening and learning, okay, um, following the teachings, you know, you're already uh, abreast of this information. You know, you've seen the apostles speak on it. You've seen the elders speak on it. Um, you know, and, 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 and you've seen uh, videos that, that have been done on this particular topic. Um, and I wanted to uh, kind of go into it, you know, briefly, okay, because... Uh, the time is now, man. I mean, you know, it's, it's as the Apostle Paul writes, uh, you know, to the lost sheep who are coming back to the sheepfold in Thessalonica. All right. Um, you know, the, 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 the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write to you. OK, uh, roughly paraphrasing um, you know, first Corinthians or it's like it first Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. OK, you know that the day of the Lord is going to come. Like a thief in the night. That's what he was telling you. And this day is coming like a thief. It's going to take, you know, the Lord's people. Uh, who are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, natives, and Israelite foreigners? All right. As well as Esau, Edom, and the heathen by complete surprise. Now, it's not going to take the election by surprise. But why? Because we've been given, you know, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We've been given the gift of faith. We've been given eyesight. We've been given, uh, 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 you know, our spiritual ears and our spiritual eyes, okay, to be able to uh, uh, see and discern the signs of the times. But for the rest of you, it is going to come as a complete surprise. But before that comes, you know, these uh, uh, perilous times, okay, that the scripture speaks about as well, you know, through the Apostle Paul, okay, are, are, are uh, uh, going to increase, man. Okay, these dangerous times, these hazardous times. All right, and this is only going to, uh, um, these types of laws, so-called purge laws, okay, are only going to uh, uh, spread into uh, uh, other uh, states throughout Babylon the Great. They're just beta testing it, okay, in Illinois, okay. But you you can you can best believe, you know, these, uh, you know, uh, California, New York, okay, uh, uh, th these large, you know, heavily populated areas, all right, that are full of what? You Israelites, okay, that these laws are going to um, be passed in these other areas as well, man. Okay. So it's fixing to be open season on you people and also too, all right, not just uh, uh you know trouble for the two thirds, okay, the unbelievers, the house of Saul, but for you Edomites too, man, you so called white people, because see the Lord is getting ready to unleash Jake on y'all, man. All right? And yeah, you know, Esau with his uh, uh martial law troops, okay, and all his weaponry and technology, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna go off. Okay, but a lot of uh you Edomites, you so called white people and the rest of you heathen over here in America, you you fix you fixing to feel it too, man. All right, <laughs> you fixing to get a beat down as well, man. And the Most High, yeah, how about me out shy? Thinking to put y'all on a pain train too, man. All right, so um, let me get a quick scripture and then I'll uh, read some of this. Y'all already know how I do it. I don't spend a whole lot of time reading these things, reading these articles. I mean, I, I skim through them and get the points, but um. I'll try and remember to put a link in the description if you want to read it. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that it is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, so you have, yeah, you have uh, the election that are going to have to endure these things as well. Go through the straight gate and suffer the persecution. Okay, be rejected by friends, so-called family, and even be put to death. But 
the elect at the end of the day are going to be redeemed out of this time of Jacob's trouble, man. All right, that's why it says he shall be saved out of it. The two-thirds, the house of Saul, you unbelievers, those of you who, who among the Lord's people who refuse to repent and come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, you're going to be put to death, man. All right? It's going to be purged for real for y'all, man. All right? Yeah, man. Let's see. Again, off of TravelNoir.com, Illinois becomes the first state to pass, quote, the purge, end quote, law. All right? Illinois is passing a law that some would say will make history. Illinois is looking to be the first state in the United States to abolish cash bail. And the consequences of passing such a law have many believing the state could mirror the horror movie The Purge. In the film, citizens were given 24 hours to commit all the crimes they wanted. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, you know, if you've never seen that, which, you know, I think I believe it came out in 2014. You know, that it was a series of movies. But um, I believe the first one came out in 2014. You know, you should check that out because... See, these Hollywood producers, these Hollywood directors, these, these, these screenwriters, see, they're Amalekites, all right? They're so-called Jewish people. They're the small hats. They're the bastards who dwell at Ashdod, pursuing the Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 6. They tell you what's coming, man. They give you, <laughs> they tell you what's coming. They're telling you, hey, a purge is coming, all right? So you think it's just a movie now. They've desensitized you to it and gotten in your sub subliminally, you know, you're, you know, you're out here thinking, man, you know, when this starts to go to, down, you're going to say, I've seen this in the movies. This is in The Purge. Okay? You know, hey, uh, <laughs> you know, the devil is telling you what's coming. You know? Now, we're telling you through the Spirit what you need to do all right, in order to survive this, man. And again, it's all about repentance. You know, Yahweh Shai himself said in, in Luke's 13th chapter, for example, in the third verse, I believe, he said, repent or perish. It don't get much simpler than that, man. That's the message. Repent or you're going to perish, man. You, you, you're going to fall victim to, to the purge when the purge hits because it's going to be. And let me tell you something. The movies don't do it justice about how nasty it's going to get out here. It's going to get nasty out here real bad. All right. So, yeah, it says, um, matter of fact, uh, that reminds me of scripture. Just like you. Um, Second Ezra, chapter fifteen. Get right to the point. Lock it for the interruptions for the noise. You know, who who would have thought the mailman was gonna come on Sunday afternoon? All right, that, that's just Satan, man. Um, Second Ezra fifteen it says, um, yeah, in verse nineteen it says, no, no, no. Let's start in uh, verse eighteen. For because of their pride, Second Ezra fifteen and verse eighteen, the city shall be troubled, the house shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid, purged, man. Okay, purge these these so-called prisoners. Which who do you think the large majority of them are? They Jake. Okay, hold up in prison houses, which which basically this whole planet is a prison house. Jake is 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 hidden away, you know. Uh, but you know all these so-called prisoners are going to be be released. And yeah, we hey look, are there some thugs in prison? Yeah, absolutely. We don't we're not defending murderers. We're not defending our people who commit murder. All right, or 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 uh, uh, kidnapping or or rape. We don't we don't we're not we're not condoning that. But the Most High is going to use them, okay, again, to terrorize a lot of you people, man. And good, good, man, good. That's going to, that too is going to be part of the Lord's sword, man, all right? It says, um, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the house shall be destroyed, the men shall be afraid. You people are so arrogant out here, so proud, so haughty, okay? In Proverbs, which I'm always bringing out, Proverbs 16 and 18, if I'm not mistaken, you know, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. You people are proud. And so what's getting ready to happen to your house? They're going to be destroyed. And, and what else? You men are going to be afraid out here. Men are going to be afraid. Grown ass, six foot three, 250 pound men are going to be terrified out here, man. When this, when this purge scenario, you know, uh, 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 comes to pass. All right. It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So great tribulation is coming, man. A lack of bread is coming. Jacob's trouble is coming. All right. Let's see. Let's get back to this. Uh, it says, um, 
On January 1st of 2023, the Safety Act will commence in the state of Illinois. This act will get rid of the cash, uh, it's like a cash bail system in its entirety. The name safety, safety is an acronym for safety, accountability, fairness, and equity today. Well, let me just stop right there. There is no equity with this, with Esau's uh, justice system, so-called justice system, so-called judicial system. There is no equity. There is no fairness. There is no accountability. There's none of that, man. All right, so this is extremely hypocritical. See, this whole thing, this whole system is founded on, uh, um, it's like, let me get it in the scriptures. This whole system is founded on a, on a bunch of unrighteous decrees, man. You got Jake locked up in, you know, for nonviolent offenses for years and years and years of his life, man. You know, all unrighteous decrees. And the Most High is getting ready to put up. That's why the Most High is getting ready to put a beat down on you, well, Babylonians, man. Okay, because you touch the apple of the Lord's eye. Okay, his 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 silver and gold, which ultimately, you know, Joel's third chapter and the fifth verse, the silver and gold ultimately is that's that's his people, man. Okay, yeah, the, you know these elites, the Queen of England, they they physically stole the the silver and the gold, the jewels. Okay, but the the silver and gold, uh, first and foremost, is his people, and and even above that, his elect. Isaiah chapter ten and verse one: Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. And that right grievousness which they have prescribed. So what's coming on uh, 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 these Edomites, all right, for setting this place up the way they did, all right, for passing all these unrighteous decrees, all right, that 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 that, that keeps uh, 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 our people down and oppresses our people primarily. Uh, 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 woe, destruction, man, misery, sadness, wasteness, desolation. All right, that's what's coming. All right, it says um. Yeah, so so basically, all right, it says those that inst instated the act believe it will reduce arrest and limit those put away based on the crime. All right, let, how about another scripture? All right, the reason why this kingdom is going to be translated from one people to another, okay? Because again, this justice system is locked in. This justice system, really no justice system at all. It was just set up to, to again, to keep the Israelites down, man. All right. Uh, Ecclesiastes 4, Sirach, the 10th chapter and the 8th verse, and it reads, Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. All right. Unrighteous dealings. Okay. Again, taking a man who, uh, who has a piece of crack rock and throwing him in, in, in prison for 10 years. 15 years, 20 years, you know, and again, we're not condoning crack users. All right. If you're, if you're an Israelite, you're not supposed to smoke anything. You're not supposed to, uh, uh, you know, get high. You're not supposed to smoke dope. You're not supposed to sell dope. All right. We're not condoning it, but it's, it's still, it's still on an unrighteous. It's an unrighteous dealing. Okay. To put a man in prison for 30, 35 years, even if he, even if he commits murder, well, the scriptures tell you how to, what to do with a murderer. Thou shalt not kill. You're supposed to put a murderer to death. That word kill, when you go into it, it in the Hebrew is is, is, is murder because you have certain killings that are justified. But putting somebody in a box for 35 years and then, and, 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 you know, for, for, for murder, that's unrighteous, man. OK, that's unrighteous. So that, that's why this kingdom is, is getting ready to be translated from one people, by right, Esau, to another, Jacob. All right. Because all this nonsense, all these unrighteous decrees, all these unrighteous dealings, all these injuries, man. All right. All right. It says there are 12 non-detainable offenses where the new law would end cash bail. The law includes second degree murder, arson, drug induced homicide, robbery, kidnapping, aggravated battery, burglary, intimidation, aggravated driving under the influence, fleeing and eluding, drug offenses, and threatening a public official. <laughs> so... You know, they're thinking that they fixing to be releasing these people, okay? Uh, um, you know, for these crimes right here, and these are, um, you know, uh, violent crimes right here, uh, most of them. You know, uh, apart from the drug offenses, I mean, you know, getting caught with a bag of weed, you know, that, that ain't that ain't violent. It, again, it ain't right to smoke weed, but you know, they ain't, they ain't committing violence. But anyway, a lot of these are violent, threatening a public official, burglary, battery. Okay, anyway. 
So yeah, these are non-attainable offenses now, man. So hey, hey, in Illinois, you know, hey, it's fixing to, it's, it's fixing to go down, man. But again, you know, New York, you know, uh, 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 Pennsylvania, uh, uh, Florida, California, you know, and these other states, uh, these other large states with, with, with a lot of jakes, you know, uh, uh, they, 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 these types of laws are going to be uh, uh, going into effect. All right. Chicago, once again, is just a, a, a testing ground for it. They're just beta testing it in Illinois. All right. Um, all right. This is a quote from um, state attorney Robert Berlin. It says, I'm very concerned about an increase in violent crime. But again, I do want to stress there's still time to fix it. And the state's attorneys are working very hard as we have as we have been for the last year and a half to fix this law. It is very fixable where we can still eliminate cash bail, but make sure the right people are in custody and everybody else who's not a danger gets out, end quote. All right, and again, that's from state attorney Robert Burley. All right. They, they ain't trying to fix anything, man. All these politicians, all these attorneys, all these talking heads, they're all in it together. Okay, nothing's going to get fixed here. Babylon is broken, man. All right, that's why the scripture says in Isaiah, what is that, the 24th chapter, that the city of confusion is broken down, man. This system is broken. It's, it's wicked. It's unrighteous. It's unjust. Okay, the system is broken. It's not going to get fixed. The Most High is steadily bringing it down. Okay, he's bringing this place down, man. The scripture says, that, going back to 2nd Genesis 15, that he's not going to suffer now as people to be. Hold on, I'm just going to read it. Let's go back to um, Sirach or Slaki. Let's go back to 2nd um, Ezra. 15. He's not going to suffer his people to uh, uh, to dwell in the land of Egypt and the Egypt being spoken of in the, in, in the scriptures in, in the second Ezra 15 and, and um in um verse 10 all right is America all right America is referred to as spiritual Sodom and Egypt in Revelation the 11th chapter okay second Ezra 15 and verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. So see, the, the, the Most High is coming back, man. So I, I, uh, before he completely destroys this place, he's going to redeem his elect, man. His elect are going to be beamed up into the chariots, all right, which you people refer to as uh, uh, UAP or UFOs. All right. And then that, and the complete and total annihilation and destruction is coming on Babylon the Great, period. All right. And there's nothing, any, again, there's nothing any politician can do. There's nothing any world leader can do. All right. This is this is what's getting ready to happen. All right. And this is why we're so uh, zealous and passionate all right, about getting the word out, uh, about getting the word out, because we can see the signs of the times and we know the end is not. All right. Um, let's see. Let's just like you. Um, a lot of interruptions out here. I thought I was going to be kind of alone out here in this park. <laughs> just coming by. He's, he, uh, you got this woman trying to bring her child into the park. They got the park chained up. Um, I'm outside. You know, I'm actually waiting, waiting for someone. But I wanted to uh, uh, get this lesson in. You know, hey, but that's why we're so passionate and zealous. You know, that's why we're on our watchtowers constantly. Brothers be doing videos. Some brothers be out. Some brothers be doing, you know, two and three videos a day, and that's good if that's your lot. Do it, you know. You don't got to do two or three videos a day, but brothers be putting the work in. You know, on, 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 we're, we're on our spiritual uh, uh, watchtowers, okay? Blowing, blowing a trumpet, man. Talking about, talking about these things. Look, this is a very real. This is a very big deal right here, okay? It's a very big deal. All right, and like I said, I can't wait, man. I can't wait for the Lord to unleash these jakes, man. A lot of these jakes, which, you know, a lot of them are going to be two-thirds. They're going to be some getting out that they ain't going to be two-thirds. That, that, that They're of the uh, elect, man. But the most I'm going to use some of these two-thirds, all right, to, 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 go, uh, to go off on you people, man. All right? The purge. And, um, hey, you know, hey, I'm just going to end it right there. You know, Lord willing, you know, you're edified. And uh, I'll try to, uh, uh, I don't want to write this out, leave a link in the description if you want to read. You know, uh, read it, read the article first. So, all right, hey, you know, with that, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise unto Yahweh by Shimei Aushai, by Hashem Rakhakwadash. Double honors are going out to the venerable apostles of the great millstone, along with the elder bishops who rule well. Salutations, peace, and blessings, grace, and safety goes out to the Bayaftawadah, which is the house of David, the elect. 
I'm Shamar Moth, signing off till next time.